Oh, did you build that fire yourself, Ian? No, Amy, I didn't build it myself. The children have built these fires. And uh, you might be wondering, is, is that a good idea? You know, teaching children, particularly these guides and brownies, how to make fires. But there is a serious point and a good reason for doing it. I'll explain that in just a second. If you're ever in any doubt as to how much part of the community a fire station was, well, just take a look at this, because the Girl Guides and Brownies, they're able to meet up once again. That was all stopped because of COVID. They're here, along with the police as well, just learning about the fire service and how important it is to take care with fire. Let's talk to Richard from West Yorkshire Fire Service. First of all, Richard, this seems like a great event. It's going down well, but why are you teaching children how to light fires? <laughs> great question uh, and welcome. Thanks for coming down. Um, it's really important to us that they know how to light a fire safely. Uh, I'm also a scout leader, and so it's part of the curriculum and the badge work that we teach them these skills. And of course, it's going to come in handy when we go camping. We know that in this particular area, we've had the fires on Marsden Moor, so barbecue safety and all that kind of thing is really important to get across. Totally key, and the Be More Aware campaign is a massive feature of why we've got the, the girls down here today and show them how to do it safely and not to go out on the moorlands and in public spaces indeed. Great, thank you very much. Now, where, here's Julie. Now, Julie, you work for West Yorkshire Fire Service as well, don't you? I do, yes. Uh, but you're also a guide leader. Yes, I help at Linthwaite Brownies. Great. So what do you think of this event? This is fantastic, oh, isn't it? it's absolutely amazing. To say that it's the first meeting of the new term and we're able to meet outside, away from all the Zoom meetings that we've been running since the pandemic, it's just absolutely amazing. And to have such community spirit with the local guide brownie units from Gokul, Linthwaite and Slap, it, the police and the fire service just amazing community. It's good, it's good to see because some groups have actually had to close, haven't they, during the pandemic? They have. It's very, it's, uh, it's really disappointing. While some units have fluctuated, have uh, they've been on the rise, unfortunately there have been some units who've reduced the numbers, and very, very sadly that units have had to close. So this is an ideal, perfect opportunity to show that girl guiding is definitely alive and kicking and uh, we're would welcome any children or adults that would like to join girl guiding. And that's what it's all about, getting people to join. Let's quickly ask some of the girls what they think. Ooh. Girls, what do you think? What have you found out today? What's your name? Um, Anna. And what have you learnt today? Um, a lot about the fire station. We learnt how to make a fire and about the fire engine. Wow, so you know how to make a fire safely. That's important. Do you know how to put it out, though? Um, by using a bucket of water. That's right, that's true, that's one good idea. And have you enjoyed yourself? Uh, yes, thank you. What do you think of the fire engine? Um, it's really cool because there's loads of interesting things that I never knew that would have in a fire engine. Great, isn't it? Thank you very much indeed. And this is just what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Having uh, fun. It's amazing. As I totally suggest like people are just, like join guys because it's Great. a beautiful experience. Well, we're going we're gonna to have some sausages shortly. Can't wait for that. That'll be fun. Thanks very much to everybody here. And back to you in the studio, Amy. Thanks, Ian. Oh, that does look great fun.